Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the analysis of fertilizers. Fertilizers is nothing but the the substance which provides or which improves the soil fertility. First of all, the introduction about the fertilizers. Within the week first and second, we have to do the sample preparation of the nitrogen and the theory of elemental analyzer in week third and fourth boe analysis and soil analysis that is the total phosphorus and the moisture content boe analysis now what is the purpose of boe analysis boe analysis is the organic fertilizer which is used to determine the how much amount of the boe fertilizers needed for the plants and uh, this is used to analyze the samples whether it follows the specification or not it is also used to estimate how much nutrient contents in the boe fertilizers those are the purposes of this boe analysis in the week fifth there are the fertilizer analysis that is the digestion moisture content and the particle size next is the objective for the analysis of fertilizers first one is the determination of the moisture content determination of elemental nitrogen phosphorus magnesium and boron Next is to check the specification of the elements by the company and next objective is the provide nutrients for healthy plant growths. There are the three types of the fertilizers. First is the compound fertilizers for examples R3Z, AJIB and RCF. These are the examples of compound fertilizers. Second type of the fertilizer is moisture fertilizer for an example RCGB and third type of the fertilizer is straight fertilizer example rock phosphate. Now the determination of the moisture contents. How to determine the moisture contents into the fertilizer by using this method first step into the determination weigh 10 gram of the raw material into the dish first of all we have to take 10 gram of the raw material into the dish and place this dish into the oven for 2 hours at 103 degrees celsius then cool this material and into the desiccator for 10 minutes and after the cooling, weigh this, weigh this content again and record the reading. And repeat the step 2 until the 4 for 2 times. And at the last, dispose the sample. Now, main purpose of analysis of fertilizers are here. We need to check the quality of that fertilizer, then fertilizers, moisture, then enough nutrients for the plant's growths are available into the fertilizer or not. And we have to check whether the nutrient specifications that produced by the factory is correct or not. We have to also check the elements that is the nitrogen, potassium and magnesium into the fertilizers. These are the main purposes of fertilizer. Then what is the fertilizer? The main aim of the fertilizer is to determine the content of element. For example, the potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium in the fertilizers followed by the specification for the fertilization anal fertilizer analysis instrument used for this 
is inductively coupled plasma that is the icp which is used to determine all the element at one time which included heavy metal if necessary then next instrument is used atomic absorption spectrometer that is the aa yes and uv spectrophotometer in that atomic absorption spectrophotometer and uv spectrophotometer only one element at a time is analyzed determination of the potassium and magnesium first of all why we need the potassium and magnesium potassium that is provides the ionic environment for the metabolic processes in cytosols that is the growth regulations and potassium ions that is the k plus for the protein synthesis and opening and closing of stomata and the use of the magnesium it is a part of chlorophyll in plants for photosynthesis therefore the magnesium is used is full for the plant growth and therefore it is included or added into the fertilizers then methods here is the method for the determination of magnesium determination of water soluble magnesium content that is the magnesium oxides the principle of that the magnesium is a magnesium sulfate fertilizers is extracted in boiling water and the magnesium content is determined by the atomic absorption spectrophotometer references is here and the procedure for the analysis of this uh, fertilizer containing elements first is the sample preparation then we have to do registration then the next step is the drying grinding and after the grinding we have to weigh the samples and add the distilled water and hcl into the your substance then digest the solution using the hot plate at boiling point around the 20 minutes and leave to the cool after the cooling transfer the solution into the holometric flask and dilute up to the mark that is the 250 ml then mix this solution and filter into the plastic vial next step after the mixing of the solution and further dilution about 100 ml add the strontium nitride 5 ml and dilute to the mark to remove the phosphate from magnesium and calcium and prevent the interference from other elements preparation for atomic absorption spectrophotometer and next step is the standard stock solution preparation potassium dihydrogen sulfate solution and magnesium sulfate solution which are both are used as a standard stock solution after that 4000 ppm weigh the 4.3928 gram sample and dry in oven for 2 hours undergo further dilutions that is m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 we have to we have to make the 0 0.25 0.5 0.75 1.0 1 and 1.25 ppm solutions now next step is the we have to use the pre calibrated calibrated atomic absorption spectrophotometer with the standard stock solutions and run the atomic absorption spectrophotometer then we can determine the concentration of the solution now the determination of phosphorus first is the why phosphorus is important to the plant phosphorus is a essential to stimulate early plant growth and hastens the maturity it also develop the 
root health and uh, which is classified as the macronutrients methodology for phosphate this molybdovanadate method that is the yellow method is used for the phosphorus determination and apparatus for this spectrophotometer and a principle of the phosphorus analysis is amount of light is transmitted that is the yellow colored light which is transmitted dependent on the concentration of phosphorus and the spectrophotometric absorption curve from unknown standard phosphorus solutions determined in unknown solutions then how to prepare the standard stock stock solution first of all we have to take the potassium dihydrogen phosphate near about the 4.3928 g in 1 liter and here you can see how to prepare the 10 ppm solution from 1000 ppm then 100 0 2 4 ppm 8 ppm 10 ppm different concentration range are given here now the reagent which is used for the analysis is molybdenum reagents that is containing the ammonium molybdate 100 ml which is mixed together with the ammonium vanadate that is 1 and 50 ml that is the 150 ml aqua regia that is the mixing the hydrochloric acid and the nitric acid together now the procedure sample preparation and weigh the samples that is the fertilizer we have to weigh the fertilizer sample and then add the distilled water into that then add 10 ml hydrochloric acid and 5 ml nitric acid and boil this solutions after the boiled solution transfer into the volumetric flask and mark up with the distilled water distill water and then filter it after the filtration 1 ml of the sample solution is pipette out into the 100 ml volumetric flask and add the molybdenum reagent and dilute it to the mark with distilled water then prepare the calibration standards from 0 2 4 6 and 8 ppm from the stock solution stock solution is of 1000 ppm from that 1000 ppm solution we have to prepare the 0 ppm 2 ppm 4 ppm 6 ppm and 8 ppm standard solutions and take the reading after the 30 minutes now the determine phosphate as acidic color at the ph plus minus 2.6 and double acid method is used we put the hydrochloric and nitric acid to convert the all polyphosphates that is p2o7 to orthophosphate that is po4 3 minus phosphate plus metavanadate that is the phosphomolybdate acid plus water that is the yellow colored thank you so much